So, yeah, we're going to be ranking the chapters of Red Dead Redemption 2 today. And, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So, the way I'm going to be doing this, uh, I'm just going to be basing it off the overall story and also, like, uh, gameplay, missions, and, like, etc. So, starting off chapter 1 is just a, uh, extended version of the GTA prologue. Um, you know, it serves its purpose. Uh, it has a few good missions, but overall, it's pretty boring replaying it. The, uh, the first time you play it, it's pretty good, especially the train heist with Cornwall at the uh, end of it. But it, it just uh, it's just supposed to set up the rest of the game basically. So I'll put it in um, I'll put it C. I mean it's okay, not the best compared to the rest of these. Chapter two, uh, yeah, chapter two. I think we can all agree that it is easily the best chapter in the game. It's easily like the most fun, and especially Valentine. Valentine is the best location and the best town in the game. So it also has the best camp. That's the most fun mission, so especially the train heist with John uh, towards the end of that. Easily, easily, uh, that would go in S tier 3, starting off chapter 3. Uh, just headed east. So when we wind up in Rhodes, uh, we're sort of thrown into this war with the Braithwaite's and the Grace, and basically this whole family feud over some bullshit I don't even remember. Uh, <laughs> love chapter 3. I love uh, Arthur and the gang pretends to be beauties or whatever in the game, and uh... Unfortunately, a few people died in this uh, chapter. I think Sean died and Garen died, right? Yeah. Um, also, I love the bank heist when you return to Valentine. That was a good mission. So overall, I, I, I would put it in A here. All right, so chapter four. So I'm trying to remember. Chapter four is you start off in Saint Denis. The camp location in chapter three, or chapter four, is uh, probably one of the worst. I hate it using that abandoned um abandoned house it's pretty good but it was really short it, uh, uh i don't remember how many missions there were but you started off uh rescuing jack from uh angelo bronte and um everything kind of goes downhill from there basically in the story story wise uh I love the party mission where you get invited to the mayor's party. Uh, I also love doing the heist. We did that one heist where you robbed the, the train station, but that was a bust. Nothing was there. We got set up. Um, and the, fi the final bank heist was easily the most uh, disastrous mission in any Rockstar game. That, that heist went horribly wrong. We lost so many people in the gang and uh, it, it severed us pretty bad, and it caused us, it caused us the game, or uh, it caused us everyone's life, basically. If the, if the heist went well, then the gang probably went, would have got away, and went to, uh, fucking, what, what did Dutch want to go to? Tahiti, he wanted to go to Tahiti, and, uh, yeah, that was a stupid idea, because he never had a plan, and, uh, <laughs> afterwards, we'll get into Kawarma, but I, I think it was pretty fun, but story-wise, a little frustrating, so I would put that at B. All right, uh, chapter five, Guarma. Now, Guarma is uh, probably the worst, uh, worst chapter in the game. Um, it, it's just, it's also too short. I don't know why they made it so short. Maybe if it was just longer, it made the game too long. But still, but there's nothing there. It's surrounded by enemies, and you you only have like two missions in chapter five, and they're they're all pretty annoying. They're, they're not fun. <laughs> they're not fun missions. None of your guns. You had none. You had didn't have your horse. You had nothing. There wasn't even. A, they could have added like a small little town in the game that could have made it better. But overall, to be honest, it's okay, like story wise. But I would never want to replay that again. So I would put this at C. Easily the worst chapter in the game. All right, so chapter six, uh, the final chapter, or so we think, because everything goes wrong for like the gang and Arthur and everyone else. So Arthur does die at the end of this chapter, and uh, Dutch base goes insane. Micah has got everyone killed, and it just kind of frustrates me how much Dutch let, Dutch let Micah control him. He, Arthur, did save John at the end, and that, that the whole story beat between Arthur and John is like probably the best part about both of these games. Just, it, it just it's just a heartbreaking chapter because you know he's going to die at the end. And uh mission-wise, most of these missions were really fun, especially towards the end with like the native war against like the factory. That was like one of the, probably my favorite missions in the game. And also him breaking out of prison. The whole native um story the whole african-american thing was really good i think it's really underrated i should make a video about this later really underrated i thought and it's probably one of my favorite parts about the game it's like eagle flies and uh, his son and everything yeah, easily s tier i would say so 
All right, first, uh, epilogue part one. So epilogue part one, uh, some people would say this is the worst chapter, but I think it's, I think it's pretty all right. It's, it's, it serves its purpose and it basically just turns into like a like, ranching simulator game. So it's, um, the missions might be boring, but it serves its purpose. This is how John becomes a rancher. This is how John's life is after, uh, years later, after, uh, chapter six. And John's life, he's still making mistakes, he's still killing people, they're still running away, they're still on the run. That's the thing about it, he doesn't change. And uh, we'll go more into this when we go into uh, epilogue part two, but John is still a killer, he still kills people. Yeah, it's, it's, it was fun. Uh, it was more of like a character uh, building thing than like a fun aspect of the game. But yeah, I, I love it, uh, I'll put it in A tier. And uh, finally, epilogue part two. Um, yeah, easily, I would say chapter six, chapter two, and chapter or epilogue part two. Easily the best ones in the game. Um, so we start with chapter two, building John's ranch and with Uncle and Charles and Arnold. A lot of missions were fun, especially towards the end. So last mission of the game, American Venom, where you finally meet Micah years later, finally get to kill him. John and Sadie want to get revenge for basically everything. They're like, hey, let's go get Micah. And this is the thing about revenge in, in the story. It's him and Sadie, they go to kill Micah and you know what happens. Agent Ross finds him and Red Dead Redemption. Agent Ross is gonna find John and then he's, he's, they're gonna kill him. This is ultimately how he dies. And uh, it is pretty sad to see, but it, it serves as a bittersweet ending to the Red Dead Redemption 2 story. Uh, just like that whole arc of revenge. And then I, I think there was a quote that Arthur said during the game. He said, revenge is a fool's game. And that goes perfect with this little thing with John at the end. So yeah, easily uh, A tier or S tier. So yeah, that's that's about it. That's my uh, that's my ranking. So to recap, chapter two, uh, chapter six, and epilogue part two are S tier. Chapter three and epilogue part one A tier. Chapter four is in B, and then chapter one and five are in C. So yeah, I hope you liked it, this guys, and uh, let me know your ranking down below. And thanks.